Here we are at Wishuel. And here I am, wishing I did not make that talk. And welcome back to the probably 20 people who might still be following the thread. I don't blame anyone who decided to hop off. But that's okay, I'm not here for the popularity, I'm just here to serve my talks. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna get myself banned over a Neptune game. We can check that out first, then take our time looking around the city. Unless I manage to talk to myself again, in which case I might let myself get banned. Think of what to do. Ah, uh, maybe I'm just being a little hyperbolic. I mean, it's only the second video. This game can't be that bad to play, right? And Jesus Christ, why is there another tutorial? Was the last video not full of enough goddamn tutorials? You need to give me a tutorial on how to go through the town. Good lord. But then again, I guess when you look at certain other gamers, you can see why they need to have hand 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 holdy tutorials like this. I mean, have you heard of that Dark Side Phil guy? Man, not even two videos in, I'm already relying on Dark Side Phil jokes. So while in town, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the incidental dialogue from the NPCs first before I move up to uh, any blue events, and then I'll be looking at red events after. Just so we can get the full, full playthrough of all the dialogue in this game. Because the whole point of these games is its dialogue and not its gameplay, if any of these videos have been any indication. Also, there's quite a few buildings we can't go into. I'm not quite looking forward to that. It makes me think this is one of those JRPGs that you don't understand, man. It doesn't really open up until you're about 30 hours into the game, like Final tool. Fantasy 13. It is an essential tool for any kind of online game. You can request or search for parties, ask for strategy tips, or simply chat. Your game's world can expand greatly depending on how you use it. Oh boy, I bet the in-game chat is just lovely in this game. I wonder if it's absolutely anything like the 4chan thread, which yes, I, I looked at because I was kind of hoping maybe there would have been some gameplay tips or something. No, 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 no. I, let's just say I am probably on several watch lists now across several different nations. You guys are a bunch of sick fucks, and I hope that with the death of net neutrality, the FBI will be given your addresses and you'll all be thrown into a fucking jail cell. And another tutorial on how to use a bulletin board. It It's just a... It's just a room to look for multiplayer. You guys don't need to baby this down for me. So, does anyone actually want to like play this game? Does like anyone else want to buy this game without having to serve a tox? And we could probably do multiplayer together, maybe. Or maybe we don't, and you just save your money. Please don't buy this game. Unless you are also serving a tox. In which case, you'll need to add up... You'll need to add up your total value of your account to see if it's cheaper or more expensive to buy the game or just eat the ban. So it seems the bulletin board stuff here is kind of like Monster Hunter. You pick a monster to kill, you might get certain items, certain rare items, which means that there has to be a crafting system in this game. And man, I can't wait for that. I bet that's one of those uh, locked off buildings is crafting So if I could just exit from menu, why why do you guys gotta restrict the, the item that lets me return? It's, I mean... And hey, that can't be abused at all. Having the lead player drop out causes the entire party to dissolve. And having them die, that's, that's even a greater idea. 
we got one person in the whole party who absolutely cannot die. Otherwise, the entire thing ends in failure. Oh, crap. Is this one of those JRPGs where if the main player dies, the main character dies, that it just it goes into game over? Even though you got other party members? I hope not. So either I'm messing up with, with the conditions here, or literally no one plays this game online. <laughs> so how about we make our own room? I'm gonna put in the uh, typical room that everyone makes the first time they play their online game. Yeah, there we go. And then I just need to add a few qualifiers here to make sure, you know, only the best choices apply. Yeah, there we go. Are there any girls who play this game? If so, you know, hit me up and uh, I'll be sure to ignore you. And also think you're a dude in real life. Also, I like the fact that the confirmation message, it isn't okay, but it's yes. A new version of the city. It is so refreshing to see an updated cityscape in Four Goddesses Online. I can appreciate that. Enjoying the cities and fields in any game is a super important fun factor. You walk around in them all day, after all. Yeah, they are pretty great. If only the player could enjoy that, huh? Isn't that right, player? Wouldn't you like to walk through this town? No? Well, here, have a fucking 2D backdrop. That one can spend so much time with. I see. That's how it becomes nicer in this world instead of real life. And then you can no longer escape. I mean, she has a point. I'm pretty sure if I walked out my door right now, there'd probably be a McDonald's cup thrown right in front of my lawn. You ever notice how there's no trash in video games? Nope. No way. Denial. The lack of self-awareness is a textbook symptom. It might be too late for you, buddy. Uh, say it ain't so. Does this mean I'm going to end up like Vert? No, I've become the worst thing you can be in 2018. A fucking nerd. How very sad. Okay, okay. Enough with the fake tears. Well, jokes aside... I can understand how you can lose yourself just walking around in a game like this. It's a beautiful world. Oh, I'm sure it is, you know, if I can ever actually play. I mean, I'm gonna be kind of blunt with you, Noir. This looks like a 2D backdrop with sprites. Am I being too cynical? Maybe I just need to kind of relax, take it easy. I have always wanted to play a, like a cheesy JRPG and just kind of have a good hearty ha ha chuckle at it. So maybe I should stop being such a such a negative Nancy here. Instead, let, let's talk about this. This this let's go back. What kind of MMOs do you guys like to play? I play Final Fantasy XIV. I've also played Guild Wars 2 before, and I've also played this one called Mabinagi. Please post in the thread about what kind of MMOs you play, just so it's not just a thread of people going, oh my god, what is this game? Also, so, I know, I think I know at least, what MMOs each of these girls are referencing. Neptune is obviously referencing Fantasy Star Online, because that is also an MMO that was on a Sega console, and it had a sequel. Blonde, I believe, is talking about Dragon Quest X, because that's the only MMO I can think of that's on a Nintendo system and it's an R R based on an RPG. And Noir here, I believe, is talking about Final Fantasy XIV because it is a RPG that was remade because uh, 1.0 in Final Fantasy XIV bombed. And what Vert plays, I'm, I'm sure it's World of Warcraft. I mean, let's just get the obvious out of the way here. I'm not too sure what World Break Online is supposed to be referencing. If if you know, please post in the thread. Let's get some viewer participation going. In fact, leave comments too, so my searchability goes up and more people will find my videos. 
and maybe one day I'll be able to quit my retail job because that's always a sound financial decision to make. Hmm, that is a little too real. I mean, let's just forget about the whole MMO aspect, because I know a lot of people still do the, heh, MMOs kind of thing. But a lot of games are starting to do that thing where they put online integration in it, and they also tie your character's progression onto that online mechanic, even if it's a single-player game. And once they pull the, that plug for those servers, well, your single-player character is fucking dead permanently until a fan service comes out and then the uh, the company will be so vindictive that they'll just sue the fan servers because gaming companies just like people who play online games are dicks Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure there has been someone who's legitimately played a video game online for 96 hours and is proud of that feat. Then again, I do recall reading a news article, not a news article, but like a study on a guy who stayed awake for quite a long time, like a month or something. I only figured out about this because someone was making fun of uh, those creepy pastes. I'm not going to call it what it's actually called because it's a stupid term. But it's about like some Russian sleep experiment and the guys are like only awake for a few days and they started like ripping their own stomachs out or something like, so something like that. I wonder if there's any, uh, in my Tropico thread, I went to see if there was Charlie Brown creepy paste. And there was some, so maybe I should see if there's some Hyper Dimension Neptunia stuff. If there is, I'll be sure to post it in the thread. And uh, here have the obligatory, the, the Hyper Dimension Neptunia creepy paste is the anime series joke here. Alright, Neptune. You're, you're the boss. You are the main character after all. So let's go ahead and check out some of these buildings. This is the guild. It is an organization where adventurers help each other out. Isn't that the bulletin board though? These quests are collected from the residents of Allsgard. Some of these quests will progress the main story as well. Hmm. So we accept a quest, fulfill its requirements, then report it. That's how we complete the quests, right? Lots of games have quests. They're even in our real lives, but hey, can't live with them, can't live with them. And a lot of games decide that random quests are a good uh, substitute for actual story and progression. La 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 la, I can't hear you. I'm looking at you, Bethesda Games. Don't think I don't notice your rating AI quests. Am I seriously getting a, tu a tutorial on how to fucking accept quests? Come on. I should look at DSP's Patreon and see what tier it costs for me to get him to make him play a certain game and have him play this game just because I want to hear him say well that wasn't explained but knowing Phil he'll probably just take the money and run You've accepted the quest. now I, I, I'm gonna hold on some of these just so you guys can read I'm sure there's something very witty being written in the description for the quest but uh, honestly I have something to admit I don't listen to the game as I'm playing it, uh, mostly due to my paranoia of being robbed. <laughs> A very real paranoia, check out my video called Update. 
And I didn't realize that guy says, you accepted it, good luck, on every single thing, and that is going to be very annoying. store run by an NPC. We can purchase recovery items and equipment. I'm sure everyone out there knows this already, but buying the equipment is only half the battle. Don't forget to equip it. Oh, I, I'm sure there's there's certain people out there who needed to be told you need to equip the fucking thing you uh, bought. Also, I'm pretty sure that is a what Blonde just said is a it's okay to sell things message because I'm sure I, I'm not the only guy who just hoards every single thing. And when he thinks, oh, I need more money, the solution isn't let me offload some of this extra crap. It is instead let me go out and kill a few extra things that drops more money. Because you never know if you actually need those uh, those materials for something else. So this guy has the usual roster of, uh, you know, restoration stuff, health stuff, status stuff. Stuff I'll probably not use simply because there is a healer in this game. And I just rely on the healers to heal everything. There's level 1 equipment, which I don't know why that's a thing in RPGs. Like, why do you guys sell this stuff? And hey, we can buy more accessories, so if you guys, once again, want to post in the thread what girl you want wearing what accessory, go for it. You're more than welcome to post that. And we can buy materials, so, you know, confirm there's going to be a crafting system, if not at least an upgrading system. And finally, I've been saving the best for last. Lots of good things on sale, stranger. <laughs> Come take a look, stranger. <laughs> I got the perfect thing you would like, stranger. The item is Sounds of Robes opening up. Hey, now that is complete bullshit. If any of you guys want to give me money to be your friend, I will totally be your besties for some for some money. I mean, I work a fucking retail job. I'm not exactly rolling in the dough. Also, people keep trying to break into my house, so I'm ending up spending it all reinforcing the house. If you want me to be your friend, I will do it for money. I'll be I'll, I will totally go, "Hey, what's up, bro? You want to go hang out at the restaurant as long as you're paying, right?" Place to practice the basic controls. Also, meet a building I will probably never ever use. Can learn the controls. Having a good foundation before a real battle is very reassuring. Because, as far as I can tell, what? it's literally just Can't it I replays just tutorials, which I mean, you know, it's not like I've been loving that so far. And then just redoing the uh, tutorial fights at the beginning. No, the enemy won't go easy on you just because you don't know how to fight. Neptune is basically stating my own philosophy of I'm just gonna wing it I mean what's the fun in studying studying is for fucking nerds okay you just go in out there and you try to do just do your best yeah so you know I'll, I'll never do this building I'm sorry dude I, I love your dreadlocks and all but I'm never gonna see you again bro peace out also, I just wanted to show off, isn't it just me or are the training grounds extremely, like, out of place compared to all the other buildings in town? Alright, well, here we are to the main event. So this is the cathedral. A place like this can make you feel a little tense. The atmosphere is so solemn. Yeah, but for a priest like me, this feels like home. They have statues of the goddesses! I only see three. Does anyone else see just three there? So pretty! I mean, the other ones look nice too, but purple hearts looking real good! <laughs> oh really? I think Blackheart's statue is the most magnificent. It clearly exhibits the perfect balance of charm and elegance. Well, maybe... 
But isn't Whiteheart's statue just lovely? The designer who created this has fantastic taste. It's quite inspiring. Blonde, my dear, if it's a muse you're after, please feast your eyes upon Greenheart's enchanting figure. Aren't you inspired by her voluptuousness? You are all extremely hey, narcissistic. Are you that to me? Now, now, all that aside, it looks like this really is the cathedral that worships the goddesses. Chosen ones, welcome to Cottleprim Cathedral. I'm so very happy to see you all again. Oh dear, oh my bouquet, oh, I am simply overjoyed to see you as well. Bouquet, have you ever considered that our names sound very sisterly? Do you believe it is possible? Well, at least we didn't get another CGI. Uh, 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 oh, oh, this feels softer than last time. Folks, it appears Vert is pulling a new one out of the playbooks and attempting a much softer approach this round. Let's see what happens. Hey, so uh, who wants to do a drinking game while we're doing this Let's oh, Play? Every time yeah. Neptune breaks the fourth wall, take a shot. Uh, post in the thread. Let me know how well it goes because I'm a sober man. I don't actually drink, so I, I can't do this. But if you know other people want to go ahead and try it out, hey, by all means. No need to apologize. Also, I like the thought of using a healing spell to uh to cure a nosebleed. Kind of funny. Yes, I'm now convinced that you really are the chosen ones. Also, because it gives the impression that. By getting a nosebleed, you take HP damage, or whatever the hit points is defined as. And I'm just loving this thought of someone possibly being on the verge of death, and then just getting a nosebleed, and it leaks out that last little bit of HP, and then they get incapacitated. Correct? Correct. In order to defeat the Demon King, we will need the power of the goddesses. Wait. Why can't the goddesses just come down on their own? Don't they know the world's in danger? For some reason, the goddesses are all playing an online game. Man, how funny would it be if at the end of this game, like, that was, like, the plot where their real world was in danger, but they were all too busy playing the MMO? It'd be, like, Nepception or something, right? This was never an issue, thanks to the restorative magic of Lean Verde. After defeating the Demon King, however, Lean Verde was unable to restore the power they spent. They were forced to return to the Divine Realm to heal. They should have recovered by now, but the Demon King cursed them. They are unable to wake up by their power alone. There is only one way to wake them. The sacred treasures... Oh my god, I want to make a can't wake up joke. ...and travel to the Divine Realm. The four sacred treasures are the treasures of this world. The amethyst glass, the black diamond sword... Wait, are, are we seriously being told this again? Really? The treasures were sealed away in various lands, so they wouldn't be used for evil. Only the chosen ones should have been able to release the seals. But a powerful dark magic has destroyed the seals. And two of the sacred treasures were taken by those working for the Demon King. The allied forces of the Paladins and the Black Knights have been trying to retrieve them, but normal people cannot fight against powerful monsters. And so, by offering the four sacred treasures to the altar, the gate to the sanctuary... You know, it never made much sense to me in MMO, not MMO, RPG worlds, or fantasy worlds in general. Where they had like, oh, there's a whole bunch of these monsters, but our most trained soldiers are literally incapable of taking them out. And it's like, how the hell did you manage to survive until the Chosen One showed up? Like, man. One is at the Loki Mountain, and the other is at the Yar Forest. We should definitely start by heading to one of these places since we know the sacred treasures are there. Then, let us pay a visit to Logie Mountain at once. That was a quick response. Any reason for that, Bert? I'm sure either one would be fine. Because if there is a mountain, it must be climbed. My heart is telling me we must go to Logie Mountain. That is all there is to it. Also, if I may add, 
There's simply the recommended level progression of the dungeons, so... Your heart is telling you to go? Really? You sure it isn't that rare metal collector in you telling you to go there? So I don't know if maybe in the previous games, Vert has an actual, like, metal collection that she does. For all I know, in her real world, she's a miner. But I think that may possibly be a reference to Rare, I mean not Rare, but Microsoft's acquisition of Rare, the company. Maybe? Man, that was, wasn't that just the worst thing to ever happen? Rare gets bought up and makes no good games after that fact. Sort of bouncy fate awaits me. Oh, I feel so anxious. My heart is already pounding. Oh, this is ridiculous. I hope she isn't a bad influence on the communication AI. Oh no, the uh, communication AI is already fucked. Ever heard of Evie Bot? It'll be a great help if I tried talking to one of those before, and all it did was spout memes at me. And they kept talking about Ben Drowned. Because that's a real funny thing, isn't it? I only managed to have Evie Bot have like an actual conversation with me once. And it was when she admitted that her favorite song was Timber by Kesha. It was kind of surreal. Ah, right. To ensure my feelings reach Bouquet, let us pray here at the cathedral. Your feelings aside, it would be good to see what sort of functions this place has. Insert complaint about tutorial joke here. Oh man, we, we can look at our previously viewed CGs. Oh, time for me to get that view count up again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save now. Never mind that it says you know it's only been half an hour. I had to re-record because the uh, song music in this game was like uh, drowning out the audio from the the girls talking. So I had to completely restart to get my videos back. And here we go. This was the CG everyone wanted to see, right? This thing we've seen about three times already because they keep re-mentioning that we need to capture the uh, four four uh, items. But yeah. Uh, in my normal gameplay, this is about an hour in. Oh my god, there are more events here. So, uh, I will be seeing you guys next video where we see the rest of these events because I'm tired of talking right now. Bye, everyone. Yo, Duke! Pick up the file! Yo. What's up?